most beautiful and most amazing top teners. I'm Rebecca Felgate and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. We have a very exciting one for you today. We have the top 10 Kanye moments. Wow, as if I have to pick just 10 of them. So let's start strong, shall we? At number 10, we have the time Jesus was born. All hail Jesus. So it's hard to pinpoint the exact birth of Jesus. It could have been in the 2005 track Jesus Walks or the 2006 Rolling Stone magazine cover where he wore a crown of thorns like Jesus. Or it could have been when he launched his Yeezy footwear. Suffice to say, Jesus was already going strong before his 2013, some say, self-titled album. If Kanye could just clear up the birth of Jesus for us, that'd be great. Perhaps we can celebrate it like a second Christmas. Let's call it Yeezmus. We can give gifts, we can eat, a lot. In case you're wondering what not to buy Kanye for Yeezmus, the answer should become clear in point number nine. So in at number nine, we have the time he strongly disliked suit jackets problems. Despite often rocking a suit jacket himself, he actually recently came out on Twitter to publicly shame the piece of clothing. He said, on another note, I strongly dislike suit jackets. I use the word dislike because I hate the word hate. So it turns out that this barrage of hate, sorry, dislike towards suit jackets was a long time coming. Just two weeks before the whole issue came to a head, he tweeted his disgust at women who pair suit jackets with yoga pants. I hear you, Kanye. In at number eight, one of my personal favorites, the time he jumped across canyons, had Pamela Anderson, and still didn't win. So poor Kanye lost out at the European Music Awards in 2006. He didn't win Best Video. He lost out to Justice vs. Simeon Mobile Disco. Like Kanye does best, he stormed the stage. He started by saying, oh, hell no. He then went on to incredulously declare that his video cost a million dollars, starred Pamela Anderson, and he jumped over canyons and shit. He says if he doesn't win, the award show loses credibility. Nothing like losing gracefully. But you know what? He did jump over canyons, so I'm shocked. I'm aghast. So he might not have won on that occasion, but some could say he is winning at number seven, the time Kanye rode a bike with Kim Kardashian naked. Kimye, Kimye, what a pair. So to celebrate their partnership, the birth of their baby, their engagement, Kanye West had Kim star in a music video. Not only did she star, the couple decided to simulate making love on a motorbike in his video for Bound 2. For some reason, this video has had almost half a million dislikes. Maybe that's because we were all privy to what I guess maybe we didn't want to see. There's a lot of gyrating, there's a lot of bumping and grinding. I for one feel awkward. Get me out of the bedroom, I didn't ask to be here. In at number six, we have the time he went off script. Now I'm talking specifically during a live TV stream fundraiser for Hurricane Katrina. So during the live TV fundraiser, Kanye said to hell with his pre-prepared lines and went on into a rant. Because most of the people are black, and even for me to complain about, I would be a hypocrite because I've tried to turn away from the teacher TV because it's too hard to watch. So he was co-hosting with Mike Myers. Mike Myers reads off the auto cue. He says his bit. Kanye then says, oh, hell no, to the auto cue and just launches into a tirade. What's really funny is that initially Mike Myers is just taking it with a lot of demure. He's, he's graceful. He's nodding his head being like, hmm, Kanye, you make a good point. But then Kanye goes on to say, George Bush doesn't care about black people. Mike Myers turns to him and he's like, Oh no. Luckily the producers managed to cut away from him pretty quickly, but this does go into classic Kanye West moment vintage storage. In at number five, we have the time he deployed the caps lock. Oh no. It is a really sad time when King Kanye has to deploy the caps lock, I have to say. One instance came when he discovered that a fake Kanye Twitter existed. He took to his blog to write, I don't have a Mm, Twitter. Hey Twitter, take the so-called Kanye West Twitter down. Why? Because my caps lock key is loud. And many exclamation marks. Just so many. Count them. However, Kanye has since joined the social networking site. Good. Another time Kanye had to deploy the caps lock was when he was talking to the Bonnaroo festival organizers. He wasn't happy. He said, we're obviously dealing with f***ing idiots who didn't really have the capacity to really put on this show properly. They tried to give me a time slot where it was still light outside. I have a f***ing light show, dumb It's not called glow in the dark for no reason, squid brains. That tells them, Kanye. You suck it to them, squid brains. In at number four, we have the time he silenced the pack. 
King Yeezy has spoken, be quiet. So I totally understand that dealing with the paparazzi must be a bit of a pain in the butt, but if you are King Yeezus, this is just part and parcel with the job. Unfortunately, Kanye has had some run ins with the paps, my favourite of which was his exchange with the cameraman at LAX Airport. No, but don't talk all right. to me at all. I'm a huge and fan don't of talk that. to anyone I know all right. at all and tell everybody never talk. He then goes on to say, my favourite, don't talk to me at all and don't talk to anyone I know. Tell everyone never talk to anyone that anyone knows. Don't talk to themselves. Don't talk ever again. Jesus commands it, so it must be so. That said, he did recently tweet, thank God for Paps on his social media, so perhaps he has forgiven them. People are pumped. Yo, I okay. said so I absolutely don't agree with what he got up to here, but we can't mention Kanye West moments without talking about the times that he has offended Queen Taylor Swift. I mean, the first started with the stage invasion. We all know the one I'm talking about. She gets an award, she's young, she looks very excited, but oh, Kanye West is on the stage. Kanye, what are you doing here? He then goes on to say, Yo Taylor, I'm really happy for you and I'ma let you finish, but Beyonce has one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Apparently the award show didn't agree. Uh oh. In an interview with the New York Times following the incident, he said he did it because of peer pressure. He has since apologised to Taylor Swift. He even sent her flowers at the beginning of her 1989 world tour. But uh oh, in February 2016, the feud was reignited once again when he referenced her in a derogatory way in his track Famous. But you know what? Kanye does have some love. He apparently has a whole bunch of it for Will Ferrell. In at number two, we have the time Jesus praised Will Ferrell. So apparently Kanye went to go and see Zoolander. Not once, but twice. He loved it so much. He then took to Twitter to praise the god that is Will. He said, Will Ferrell has reached walking, living, breathing god status. He then went on to tweet, I want to thank Will Ferrell for the years of joy he has brought to my life with amazing comedy. So Kanye and Will are absolute bros, they have worked together on the set of Anchorman 2, and Yeezy himself has even included Will's voice on one of his tracks. Of course there is one person that Kanye West loves more than Will Ferrell, and that is Kanye. That's right, in at number one of our top 10 Kanye West moments, we have the times that Kanye loves Kanye, because where would he be without Kanye? So he has never made a secret of the fact that he blooming loves himself, but this also became very apparent when he took to the Saturday Night Live stage in 2016. What we thought was a joke rap about Kanye loving Kanye then turned into a real track on his album The Life of Pablo. So the track is simply called I Love Kanye and includes the line, I love you like Kanye loves Kanye. He also recently tweeted his love of himself. He said, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I love me so much right now. I mean, fair enough. You've got to have some self belief. Kanye, if you're watching, maybe you can retweet this because then you can watch this and say, you know what, even though they've got a million subscribers, I made that bitch famous. I'm Rebecca Felgate. I actually do love Kanye despite his shortcomings. He is obviously the greatest living artist of all time. Quote unquote. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. Do let me know your favourite Kanye moments in the comments section down below. I've now also been inspired to do a Top 10 Kanye tweet because reading his Twitter is so funny. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.